So you want to make Mars and Unreal. First thing up is to download the assets. So go to solarsystemscope.com, scroll down, you'll see Mars. And if you scroll down further, there's a bunch of Earth assets as well. Um, you can find a bunch of useful assets for anything you need. So let's go up to File, New Level, and then select Empty Level. Once you do that, go up to the top left and go to Modeling Mode and click on Sphere. Let's change the subdivision type to latitude longitude. Radius can be 1 million. And then do the horizontal slices to 200 each. And then click. And if you don't see it, that's because it's gigantic. So go up to the top right, uh, go to camera speed, and then change it all the way to max. And then just back up. And you will eventually see it. Sweet, this is our giant planet. Now you wanna to go to pivot just in case you wanna, you know, turn it and click center and click accept. This way, if you want, like, I don't know, any uh, spinning motions, it, it will be correct. Then go up to the top right, click on sphere, control C to copy, control V to paste, and just keep doing that till you got four. Then let's start to rename them. Let's do Mars, uh, Atmos for atmosphere, this one can be clouds, and then the last one can be stars. Perfect. Hey guys, there's one last step to the setup that I forgot, and that is changing the scale. So uh, right now on the screen, you'll see scale on the middle right of the screen is locked. Um, I would change that to uh, 10 for Mars, about 10.2, 10.3 for atmosphere, 10.2, 10.1 for clouds, and 1,000 for stars. Um, that's really the last thing and you can kind of play around with these but if you notice that yours is different from mine that's probably why so make sure to change those numbers and you're set to go perfect now let's think of material so right click go to material click on material and then let's rename this Mars or you can do M underscore Mars if you wish keeps it cleaner <clears throat> Perfect, now bring in the assets that you downloaded. We are going to do the top one is gonna go into base color. Let me just make this bigger for you guys. So top one RGB into base color and then the bottom one can go into normal and then we can do S click and type in metallic. S click again and type in specular and then S click one more time to get roughness. Now plug these all into their respective ones. And then let's make roughness five. Perfect, now you have your main Mars texture. So go back to where you have the material, right click and um, go to, which is wrong, right click and go to create material instance and throw it on. Cool. Now we're going to make another material. So follow the same process and name this one Atmosphere. So open that up and immediately go to the left hand corner to blend mode and change it to translucent. Now let's do V click to get a vector node. S click to get a parameter node. We can name this color intensity. And then M click to get a multiply node and click again to get another multiply node. And this top one can go into emission color. This bottom one can go into the other multiply and then do right click for a Fresnel and right click again for a power. I'll plug those into each other and then that one into multiply and the multiply into opacity. And then we can change the color intensity to I guess 20, it doesn't really matter. You can change it to whatever you want, but change the vector node all the way up to uh, white. Apply, save. And then same thing here, material instance. And throw that onto the atmosphere. And then go to scale and make it 10.2. 
Next, I'm gonna open up the um, actual instance and change it to 0.2 color intensity and then change the color to something a little red since it's a red planet. Cool, next up is the clouds. So create another material, um, open it up, and I will make this quick and easy for all of us. So go to the left-hand corner once you open up your material. Make sure it is surface, translucent, default lit, and two-sided is clicked. Um, once that's done, I will have everything up for the cloud material here and set it for you. So all I have to do is pause and copy it. Um, all pretty simple. Um, might look like in a lot of nodes, but truthfully just get over it because it's actually not. And you're ready to go. Perfect, uh, now save and make a material instance and throw that onto your Mars. And if it looks crazy like this, it's because it's missing a directional light. So go up to the top left hand corner, go to lights and add a directional light. And voila, it looks much nicer. Um, now that it's done, you can pretty much just open all the instances and make any fine tuning changes, changes you want. Um, the last thing now to do is make a starry background. So we're gonna go back to the content drawer and make another material. So same thing as before, make another material, name it what you want, open it, and we're gonna go immediately over to the left-hand panel and change it to two-sided. Uh, this one is more important than ever because we're gonna be inside the uh, circle of space, not outside. And then for blend mode, we can change that to translucent. So let's right click and type in sky atmosphere uh, light disc luminance. And then do S click and name it brightness. M click for multiply node. Um, and then add and add and plug and play. After that, we're gonna bring in the star texture that you got from that same website. Change the brightness uh, to 0.2 apply and save after that we are going to just take that material and add it to our star and it will look something like this once you change it to material instance and voila now you have a starry background behind your mars um, now all of these are material instances so you can just open them up quickly and change them um, depending on what you like, either thicker atmosphere, less atmosphere, or super bright stars. You can even enter here and change the stars to insanely bright and watch it break apart. Um, really, it's whatever you want, but that is how you make Mars and Unreal. Uh, hope you guys like it, and there'll be more. Bye.